Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another general reading. This message is going to be for whoever it is for. It is the late night energy I am channeling here. So someone here could be hiding something or trying to get away with something, or someone here could be running off with something of yours. Somebody could be trying to run off with something that does not belong to them, or somebody has done something and they think that they're getting away with it. And I feel like that this is like, it's not all the way nighttime, but it could be nighttime. It could be somebody, you know, breaking into somebody's house or, or you turning your head and somebody do something and they don't see it. Ooh, 10 of cups. Ooh, so this is a family. So you could have somebody in your household taking things, could have things coming up missing and you know who it is or you don't know who it is. So I guess there's a need to lock stuff up, pay attention to the people who you allow in, into your house. Cause somebody got a, Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Somebody got a real, real, hold on y'all, got it too dark. Wow, that's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. It could be this woman here, you could be cheating on your spouse. Somebody could be cheating on their spouse here. Somebody's no longer happy at home or somebody is just not a good spouse here. So this could be a marriage that you're in. I feel like somebody's offering love somewhere else and they ain't telling somebody because they feel like it's a burden. Somebody, somebody realized that this relationship was not all what it's cut out to be. Therefore, they may be trying to step out on a marriage here. Somebody is burdened down by bills. Somebody could be stressed out about where their spouse is at night. See? Because with the Nine of Swords, crown of the Nine of Swords, it's the Seven of Swords. So somebody worried about something here. They're not even able to sleep. Somebody notice somebody's doing something that they shouldn't be doing. They can feel it. Have you ever been so in tune with, with your intuition that you knew some shit was going on? You may did not have the physical proof, but your intuition was telling you that something wasn't right. But this could be you. It could be you not being able to sleep because you know something ain't right here. And this could be you knowing that already knowing what the problem is. You may already know what the problem is. So let's see. Let's let's dig into the seven of swords for you. See, can we get now? This is a general, y'all. Whatever comes out, it is, all right? Seven of swords. The problem on this deck, on this table, would be the seven of swords and the queen of pentacles in the reverse. So this queen of pentacles in the upright is a very stable, grounded, uh, very nurturing responsible, loyal type of energy. They, they, they are wife material, marriage material. They're going to make sure, you know, the, you know, they, they're just going to make sure that it is a very, very peaceful, uh, very, um, abundant. So when I think about the pinnacles, I think about somebody here who likes nice things. So, uh, you know, this is somebody here who is, could be a business owner, could be a wife, feel like this is a wife or somebody here who may not be happy in a marriage anymore. Four Pentacles or maybe somebody was all about themselves. Somebody may be stealing money too. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What, why is the Seven of Swords is here? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is the Seven of Swords energy here? I like the nighttime because you get to hear peace. 
Something is happening with the five of wands. Some type of confusion here. Somebody feels like their luck has somebody feels like their luck and ran out. Or somebody's timed and ran out. Because there go the five of pentacles. It's about money here. Somebody may have been stealing money from somebody here. Somebody may be confronting a spouse about overspending or mishandling funds. Because, y'all, yeah, what, what other, what other, I mean, that's usually going to be about infidelity or money. In marriages, I feel like, I mean, I know it's other things, but I feel like those are the major things. What's up with the seven of swords here? Somebody is, somebody's been hiding money or stealing money, perhaps to go have a rendezvous with the ace of one or someone could be saying, you know what? I've, I'm losing the passion here. Somebody could be looking at their spouse differently since their spouse may have lost some work or lost money. And it's almost like somebody wants to leave them now for somebody. Somebody may have fell on hard times and instead of their spouse sticking it in there, their spouse Somebody could have only been looking at someone as a meal ticket. And now that they may be uh, unable to really provide, now somebody here is finding pleasures elsewhere instead of, you know, building their family back up. It's, uh, it's like it's almost like somebody put all the burden on them. It's almost like even though they may be on hard times, instead of lightening the load, they didn't add more shit to it. OK, <laughs> meanwhile, they ain't putting nothing in the pot. They stepping out here, probably trying to go somewhere else and find pleasure somewhere else because they don't even find their own spouse desirable because their somebody's spouse could have been the breadwinner here. So they measured their manhood or their their worth based on what they could provide for the family. And they may have not really been emotionally invested. Someone really could have been built a nice life for them with this Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for the collective? Why is the Ten of Cups here? And then once again, it could be somebody here, somebody living in your home with you stealing. And your stuff is coming up missing here. Could be somebody. Why is the Ten of Cups here? See the Four of Swords here. Somebody could have allowed somebody to come recuperate. It's almost like somebody could have been lending out a helping hand to somebody. It's almost like one of those things you help somebody and then they come in your house and they do you wrong. See, Three of Swords. But then this could be another situation. I feel like this is a romantic relationship dealing with money. Three of Swords is somebody else involved. Somebody's secrets may have been exposed with the moon card in the reverse. Wait a minute, hold that thought, Ten of Cups. What's up with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? So in the reverse, this Queen of Pentacles, to me, somebody very ir irresponsible with money, greedy, selfish, all about money, very materialistic, um, like to look like they got it, but really don't. You got the Eight of Swords. Somebody may be going to jail. Look, they go to Queen of Pentacles again in the reverse with the Eight of Swords. Somebody may have felt stuck or somebody may be going to jail here. Somebody may have been embezzling some money. What's up with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse with the Eight of Swords? Somebody feels stuck or this Queen of Pentacles may have felt stuck. It could be that this Queen of Pentacles is no. I oh, see because like I say, the Queen of Pentacles feel like she, the burden on her. They go to Two of Pentacles. Somebody lost it. Somebody lost control and they just want peace. Somebody may have found peace. See, somebody went and found peace somewhere else. God dang it. See. With the lovers and the four of wands, see. Somebody got somebody on the side. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Somebody said that they don't want to work on a marriage anymore, but they would rather be with the, the side person, y'all. This is what I feel. Because somebody feels like they've done, but I feel like they're not leaving it because they're stuck because of financial situation. That's why I got the five of pentacles here. It's almost like somebody feels like like they're stuck, like they're hand, like they're restricted from leaving this person because they're financially bound to it. 
but they're not giving up their sad relationship either because they don't because they don't care nothing. I feel like somebody don't care about what they got at home no more because it's toxic now. What's up with this Ten of Cups? Four of Swords, Three of Swords energy. Could be a Libra. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces here. Six of Pentacles in the reverse. See? Somebody ain't going to be generous no more. Somebody giving somewhere else. It was a one-sided marriage or relationship. Because we clarifying uh, the Ten of Cups. The reason why it's one sided because somebody was out here. Knight of Wands. See, somebody found luxury or happiness somewhere else. That's just all it is to it. It could also represent that somebody is telling their wife that if you want to leave, you can leave, but you ain't taking my money with you. You figure out how you and your lover going to, you better make, you figure out how you're going to put a roof on you and your lover head. Because when you was with me, I took care of you. Now I ain't finna help you take care of them. Could be that too. Could be somebody knowing that they don't want their husband no more, but they want their money. Why they go live their life with their side piece here and they don't care. It's almost like they want to keep on you. Somebody may want to keep on spending the marriage money. They want to keep spending like they're married but they want to spend it with the side person, but they don't want to act like they're married with the spouse is what I see for somebody. Nine of swords, why is the nine of swords here? It's like couples are staying together for the wrong reasons because most of these relationships feel like they got so much invested that it's cheaper to keep her, but they're gonna cheat anyway type of stuff. It's like, that's the thing now, see? Nine of swords. See, I feel like somebody want to leave, though. Eight of cups in the reverse, but I feel like they're holding back or they're feeling like maybe somebody got children. Or maybe somebody feels like you're going to get too much of my money if I break up with you or the fool car. See, I feel like... I feel like somebody feel like they've been somebody's been reckless. It could be reckless with spending. I feel like the person that's more attached to the money is the person that's the one stressing about it. Because that that may have been they may have been okay at first until they just wasn't anymore. People change for their own personal reasons. Sometimes people actually grow apart. But the thing when people grow apart, that's something because some people when they grow apart, but they feel like they're still they have to remain together because of money issues or because of children, man. So I feel like this is somebody's dilemma here. Justice. Somebody feel like it ain't right. Could be a Libra. Somebody may be holding on for a house. Somebody, somebody could be stuck in a house with a with a partner that they do despise, but because they ain't, don't neither neither one of them got nowhere else to go because they all of their money is into this one property here, and somebody hoping that the fucking house just burned down so they can get money off of it. See, you got the justice card and the tower card. Somebody is hoping that it just come down, but I feel like they may not be hoping. Little do they know it's all coming down anyway. So for somebody, you're going to get a break because it's coming down anyway. This is your way to escape. So if you was the on, on the other side of this relationship where you felt trapped, you felt like they were just dogging you, but they knew that you couldn't leave because maybe you didn't have the money. Maybe, you know. Maybe you maybe you had a child because you got the five of pentacles here. It could have been somebody here who felt like they had one over you because, you know, maybe you had, you know, you didn't have what they had and they took advantage of it. Why they went on out there and had they side people, too. And you sitting here looking like, damn, you know, I feel like whatever, whatever they whatever they were building is false and it's going to crash anyway. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Ten of Wands here is because 
Like I say, for somebody, this is going to be your way of escape, especially if you needed money to go to Ace of Pentacles. See? See, there's it's almost like somebody has been in a, a, a very, very selfish relationship. See, because you're going to be able to start all the way over with this world card. You may even relocate and move, change your number. I feel like whoever this person is, once you get away from this person, you're going to be able to plant you a garden. See, somebody wants a garden here. It's almost like somebody has so much control. It could have been a one-sided relationship where both parties was working, but they was using your money all up and why they go trick off. But they put the burden on you because they know that you're going to have to take care of the family because you was responsible. Whether you are masculine or feminine here. Three of Pentacles here, see? For somebody, you may get a new job here where it's going to require you to relocate and that's going to be your room and board here. And they're going to pay it for you. They're going to pay all of your expenses to move and relocate. See? And like I said here, this will be your new beginning. Because I feel like the universe feels like they can, you can be trusted with this. I feel like you, you, you're destined for wealth anyway. It was just that you was tied up with some toxic ass shit that was blocking it. Because this was not for them. This was for you. And because you was attached to that person, they would have been joint heirs of your inheritance, but they didn't deserve that. So I feel like you got new opportunities coming your way. Somebody's going to escape. Um, somebody's going to ex escape a very prideful, narcissistical relationship because I feel like somebody may have been narcissistical here. I feel like that the Knight of Cups, see, like I say, you got new love coming anyway because I feel like the relationship you was in wasn't based on love anyway. It was based on what y'all had, see. Like I say, somebody getting it. Ten of Cups. What's that, the Nine of Cups? Nine of Cups? Somebody wants, somebody's about to be happy again here, see? And whoever else was doing something to get away with it, that they're they, they going to still be stuck in their seat. They're going to receive karma, see? Because they go to Seven of Swords and they go to Judgment Car, see? There's, see, what's going to happen is, Spirit is saying that whoever this person is that had a third party, why they did disrespected you and treated you any kind of way because maybe you didn't, you couldn't leave because you had the child with this five of pentacles and they used it against you. It's almost like you're about to elevate. You're about to be wealthy with that 10 of pentacles. You could even be awarded through court with this justice card and the tower card, something that you're not expecting here because this person may have manipulated the bank or manipulated the money so much that you probably didn't know what you, what you was uh, entitled to. Uh, like I feel like whether it's a man or woman, however, I'm just telling you what I see. Uh, but like I say here, and that person's finna go, their luck is finna change. Yeah, they finna fall off bad. They about to receive karma with the judgment in the reverse. And that seven of swords is all going to start off just like it started off with the seven of swords. With that same person, it's going to end with the seven of swords. But this time they're going to be called under judgment, which is karma, because they had an opportunity to do something right, but I feel like somebody abused their power here. And now they're, they got to see you. Somebody's going to see you elevate here. I saw the page of swords. Yeah, somebody's going to see you elevate and you're about to get all of your wishes come true with the star card and you can begin to heal and then you can gain victory now. But Spirit said you couldn't get victory while you was with these people because once again, somebody was bl blocking your blessings. They was all right as long as you needed them. Somebody needed you to need them. But even when you needed them, they took advantage of it. So this is why the tables are about to turn and whatever they thought they had, now they're going to experience a season of lack and you're about to receive um, season uh, for abundance. All right, Collective, this is your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.